Carrie Underwood struggles with fertility, injuries and more in her own words. Learning along the way. Underwood opened up about the less than exciting portion of her American Idol journey ten years after winning the singing competition. Idol was probably the most horrifying thing, because I had never been away from my hometown like that before, the Oklahoma native told Parade magazine in October 2015. I was in L.A., of all places, by myself, putting myself out there, which is a scary thing for anybody to do. My first plane ride was when I was going out to L.A. alone. She also noted at the time that she is a little awkward when it comes to speaking, because I am a shy person. A scary fall. The Love Wind songstress revealed in January 2018 that she might look a bit different after getting between 40 and 50 stitches in her face following a fall at her home the previous November. Here we are seven weeks later and, even though I've had the best people helping me, I'm still healing and not quite looking the same, she wrote in a letter to her fan club members. I honestly don't know how things are going to end up but I do know this, I am grateful. I am grateful that it wasn't much, much worse. And I am grateful for the people in my life that have been there every step of the way. Helpful hubby. Underwood spoke out about her accident, which also left her with a broken wrist, in an April 2018 interview with Sirius XM's The Storm Warren Show and pointed to husband Mike Fisher's assistance in her recovery. He's all right, as a nurse. I mean, I'm really terrible at letting anybody help me with anything. To be honest, she admitted. I'm probably not a very good patient because I'm like, I can do it. I'm not completely broken. I can do this. I'd say the hardest part was my wrist. Like, I can't use my appendage, and I'm trying to pick my kid up and make food and do mom stuff. Back to normal. It just wasn't pretty, the Grammy winner said of the aftermath of her accident during a May 2018 appearance on the Today Show. Of her progress, she added, I have a dedicated team of professionals who can spackle and paint and paste. Getting by. Underwood reflected on a try in 2017 in an interview for Red Book's September 2018 issue. There were some personal things that happened, she told the magazine. And I had the accident and all of that to get through. And just life. Life is full of ups and downs, and I might have had a few more downs than ups last year. The Road to Motherhood The Before He Cheats singer, who is the mother of son Isaiah with Fisher, revealed in September 2018 that she suffered three miscarriages in two years. I had always been afraid to be angry. Because we are so blessed, I'm like, if we can never have any other kids, that's okay, because, Isaiah, is amazing. And I have this amazing life. Like, really, what can I complain about? I can't. I have an incredible husband, incredible friends, an incredible job, an incredible kid. Can I be mad? No, she said on CBS Sunday morning. However, eventually her emotions poured out, I got mad, I was like, why on earth do I keep getting pregnant if I can't have a kid? Like, what is this? Shut the door. Like, do something. Either shut the door or let me have a kid. And for the first time. I feel like I actually I told God how I felt. Back to work. Underwood felt insecure after her facial injury made it physically impossible to sing while recording her album Cry Pretty. I felt like the differences were more in my head than they were in anybody else's that would listen to the things I was doing, she told Vulture in November 2018. Going into the studio for the first time, it was a mind game, do I sound the same? Is my diction the same? Does my mouth move the same as it did before? My M's and B's and P's were kind of the issue. And, producer David Garcia, was like, I thought it sounded great. Baby number two. The American Idol alum opened up about her joy upon learning she was pregnant with her second child. It took us a while to get here, I'm gonna cry again, she told Us Weekly in November 2018. I'm, just so thankful to find out Isaiah is gonna have a baby brother. It was just great news. We're excited. 